the clash in the clouds continuing. Spirit Airlines saying late Thursday it's going to start talks with JetBlue. Remember, under consideration here, on the one hand, we've got JetBlue's $33 per share offer against Frontier. On the other hand, it's $25 per share cash and stock bid. The two of them fighting over Spirit. Let's turn now to Mr. Sazi's take on this whole situation here. Saz, what do you got? I like that clash in the clouds. Very, very catchy by the team. Well, but it is, in fact, a clash of the clouds. And, and clearly that next ball is now in the court of the folks at Frontier. Uh, you would think they would come out here potentially soon and raise their bid for Spirit. Uh, but we did have a chance. Uh, we did have an opportunity to talk to JetBlue's uh, CEO, Robin Hayes, about some of his thinking behind this transaction. Here's what he told us. By allowing a JetBlue Spirit merger, we can bring more low fares. The other really important fact on this, the Department of Justice talk a lot about the JetBlue effect, the effect that when JetBlue goes into a new market, we lower fares. What is a fact that when we go into a new market and compete with legacy airlines, fares come down by more than when an ultra low cost carrier does. So Hayes, uh, Julie, pushing back a little bit on, on the inevitable scrutiny from regulators that is coming uh, for either company, whether it's JetBlue gets in there deeper with Spirit or Frontier uh, closes deal on Spirit, whatever it is, regulators will have their day in the sun with this uh, transaction. It is also interesting too, Julie, uh, that what they might be acquiring here, if JetBlue does pull off this deal, first it's planes. Uh, Spirit Airlines has about a close to 130 Airbus planes on order uh, looking out through 2027. So JetBlue would get access, instant access to those planes instead of having to wait for a long period of time uh, from the likes of uh, Airbus to get those planes because they're just so swamped with demand. And secondarily, he's talked a lot about the ongoing or just the continued pilot shortage in this country. So going in there and acquiring Spirit is a great way to get the talent they need to fly airplanes for the next decade. Overall, Julie, here's my take, and it is pretty simple, as always. Sazi's take. And in here, uh, keep in mind, neither one of these deals may get done. Julie, nothing, nothing is guaranteed in this world of business, especially when you have such a hot button issue like airplanes uh, and consumer airfares. Nobody likes paying high, high costs to take an airplane. So expect regulators to really dig in here. And again, nothing is certain.